Yuhi Filterscape. That's right. The hottest filter plugin of 2004 is back. It's been rejuvenated with a fresh look of paint in the form of a new GUI. It's got some behind the scenes tweaks and it's got a bunch of new features. It's 129 euros or a free update if you have a previous version. So let's check it out. The Filterscape bundle includes three different plugins, Filterscape FX, Filterscape Q6 and Filterscape VA. So that's basically an FX version, an EQ version and a synth version. We have the FX version here and it, so I found it intimidating to look at at first. It's really not that bad once you know what's going on. So let's start off with the EQ section which is this panel here and this is basically common between the three different plugins. And what it is, is it's a parametric EQ, but it, it has a lot of modulation capabilities. So uh, I have a bit of a pad here. Very nice. Let's add some uh, EQ to it. Now let's listen. Very nice indeed. But what if we wanted to morph between a couple of EQ shapes? Well, we can do that. So I've moved on to snapshot two here. I've given it a different shape. And to modulate between the two snapshots, I'm going to pick a modulation source, LFO1, and turn up the modulation amount. Now, oh, look. Okay, so we can see it's modulating between the snapshots here. It's doing it very quickly. Let's slow it down to one bar. That seems a bit more sensible. So I'm going to move the snapshot starting position to here and then turn the modulation amount down. So now we're really moving just between snapshots one and two. And you can see what's going to happen with our EQ bands here. Let's listen and hear how that sounds. Which is great. So that's a very, very simple thing that you can do is just animating a sound by modulating between different snapshot positions and you know you can create your own filterscape sort of a uh, sound also there's uh, tons of other modulation stuff you can do in this section including global and snapshot modulation for each frequency and uh, the gain of each band so there's tons of potential there also, there's a bunch of different modes as well. I like this one, which is uh, two band passes, a low pass and a high pass. So you can get some like really uh, vocal style uh, sounds there. And also they have some uh, form and presets as well, which sound wicked. So clearly there's just tons of potential there for you to uh, get involved with. Um, next, I'm going to turn the EQ off and I'm going to focus on the filter section. I mean, you can absolutely use these two in conjunction, but I thought it'd be simpler to do it this way. So here we have a choice of state of variable filters, uh, two pole, three pole, four poles. That's 12, 18, 24 dB. And we've got some legacy uh, 12 dB modes in there as well. Let's let's try the four pole mode. So it's a filter and it sounds great. Uh, Auto FM, pretty handy. I like this because it puts a really interesting organic edge on the sound that you can exacerbate with some drive. And what's cool about the filter is state variable you have four different modes that you have this kind of vector control that you can morph between. So we have low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. Um, let's do some manual uh, vector moving first. Very smooth and delightful sounding. Oh, and if you move into the center, you kind of morph into an all pass filter. Um, let's quickly set up some angle modulation. So I'll set up LFO1 again. So yeah, you can get some really lush sounds. And uh, as well as the LFO modulation sources, you have envelope followers 
and a couple of step sequences. And it's not really uh, anything to do with the rest of that, but you've got a delay, which is a nice touch to have in there. And also there's a bunch of routing options as well. So uh, the routing section is here. You've got a choice of uh, five different modes. So you can do kind of like parallel stuff, you know, feedback sort of things or whatever. I mean, the, the, potential, <laughs> the potential for just spending all day just uh, making a patch in this is uh, really quite uh, astounding. I guess uh, let's look at some... Uh, Let's look at some presets, I think. Um, so we can bring up the uh, preset browser. Oh, yeah, I've got the filtered echoes section um, selected already. So let's go with that because it's ideal for this sort of pad sound we've got going on. So, uh, so that's that's a bit like that's a bit like flying waltz off a Roland uh, JV series. So you know that's that's pretty cool. Also, actually, before I mention the presets. This is as close as you can get to having like a custom uh, emu Z plane filter, basically. So if you've really, you know, lusted after like th that kind of uh, filter morphing feel or whatever, you know, this this is a great way you, you can get that without, you know, having to um, get an old uh, emu sampler or some kind of uh, old rickety old uh, sound card that incorporates that stuff as well um let's uh let, i mean it won't sound identical or whatever but it's a similar sort of vibe let's have a listen to some more presets lots of uh, step sequence of stuff going on there a bunch of uh, eq morphing lovely stuff i mean i don't know about you i could listen to filtered pads all day let's try some other stuff let's go for gentle it's kind of turning off and on oh it's nice panning stuff yeah there's tons of panning controls um especially the state variable stuff have tons of panning controls it's uh pretty nuts Let's have some strong effects. All good stuff. Let's have some tone. So, yeah, I mean, you can use it to, you know, change the texture of your sounds as well. I mean, it's pretty great, but uh, let's move on and uh, check out the EQ version, I guess. So here we have Filterscape Q6. This is the EQ focused version of the plugin. As you can see, it has six EQ bands uh, rather than just four. Um, and a bunch of the other kind of peripheral stuff has been swept aside. So you're really just focusing uh, on EQ stuff here and, you know, the four envelope followers. So a lot of the presets do cool envelope following stuff. So let's check some of those out. So I have a drum loop here. Sounding very lovely indeed. Uh, but let's check out some presets. So these, the first folder is called static, which is a bit of a misnomer because a lot of them do envelope following things. For example, there's a bunch of uh, DSs in here. Now you're probably not going to be using a DS on your drum beats, at least I don't think so. Um, but you can see what's happening. So there's uh, envelope follower three is uh, ducking out the sort of real sort of high end there. Let's check out some of these other presets. So yeah, you can really dramatically change the feel of a, of a sound. Oh, getting pretty loud. And it you can tell it's getting loud because uh, the new built-in clipper, we can see that's activating because that shield is uh, lighting up. So that's a nice little touch. Let's carry on. I mean, these are already fine. What I really want to look at is a thumper de device. And that sounds pretty, pretty <laughs> intense. But all it is really is, you know, envelope follower one on the gain of band two. And it's just boofing it when it kicks. <laughs> it's wicked. And you know, conversely, 
it's practically making this thing disappear now. A kind of a vocal sound there. Let's look at some moving ones. Kind of funky. More envelope following going on there. It's all happening. Oh, that was some nice. Uh, it's kind of, you know, a lot of these are kind of like auto war style effects with like a real form and quality. So, yeah, I mean, if you're really into getting into the nitty gritty of the dynamics versus frequency of uh, stuff in your mix, then Filterscape Q6 in particular is a very, very powerful tool. Um, it's not it's not perhaps something that you're I mean, you know, the presets are cool and fun and everything. But I feel like really to get the most out of this one, uh, this one in particular, I feel like this is um something that advanced users will really really enjoy and uh, there's a lot to get your teeth into with this one so uh, yeah i think you get the idea of that let's uh, let's move on again so here we have filterscape va or virtual analog and this is the synth version of the plugin um it's very similar to the fx version apart from it has a couple of oscillators so we can play it like a musical instrument uh these are wavetable oscillators uh, currently only oscillator one is turned up let's uh, let's see how the wavetable sounds we've got v analog so this is going to be some virtual analog sounds I mean, you're very familiar with all this sort of stuff. Not particularly exciting, very useful, of course. Um, let's try some other ones. And this is all cool. But what we want to do is get a really thick timbre. So let's use uh, some of the uh, modulation tools. I'm going to try doing some syncing now. Uh, I'm going to turn oscillator one down. I'm going to turn two up. And now uh, oscillator... Oscillator 2 will restart uh, when Oscillator 1 does. So if we muck about with the tuning of Oscillator 1, we'll get some hard sync effects. <laughs> Very interesting uh, noises. That's fine. Let's try some FM as well. So we can uh, modulate uh, 1 to 2 here. Oh, God. Let me reset. Yeah, if we just have a little bit of detune on there. Oh my lord. So you can get some really squelchy, dirty and wet timbres uh, there. Also, we can beef things up with the sub. And we can add some ring modulation as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's just... Let's give something a bit of a simpler sound. Oh, yeah. That's the sort of thing I'm after. And then when you uh, add uh, some filter modulation to that, you can get some crazy sounds so let's check out what you he have done with this thing oh my goodness tons and tons of sounds um i'm really in the mood for some filthy bass let's see what we could do here. oh these were very smooth and tasteful oh there we go blind hate uh an emotion we've all felt Lot of smooth sounds. Irritable bass syndrome. Oh, there we go. Screaming FM bass. Let's see what's going on here. It's just some FM stuff or whatever. No, no crazy snapshot modulation or anything like that. Let's see if we can uh, get a nice pad going. We'll see if we can find some modulation in there. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah. The sound of the future. Great stuff. Oh. Is that not delightful? Awesome. Well, let's see what else they've got with like in terms of like rhythm loops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bling modulator. Pretty cool. They clearly had a lot of fun uh, designing these sounds. Oh, some performance stuff going on there for sure. Oh, and look, there's a built-in arpeggiator and you can change tons of things going on there. Chorus, delay, just a, just a huge amount of stuff uh, to get your teeth into. And so when you combine all of these uh, three plugins into one package, it's uh, really pretty formidable. So before we sum up, um, let's look at some uh, some of the overheads that you're going to experience using this uh, plugin. In fact, it's uh, pretty great. So uh, let's check out uh, FX. Ableton is reporting a 32 sample latency, um, Q6 28 samples, um, and uh, VA 28 samples again. Um, if I uh, play VA, my CP jumps from three to four. So this is a uh, Intel Mac with an i7 processor. So, you know, certainly not cutting edge anymore, but it's really absolutely having no trouble here. If we switch to uh, uh, live session modes, we can see that the, the CPU usage reach the track is barely activating uh, at all. So, yeah, I mean... The original version of Filscape did come out in uh, 2004 and, you know, the behind the scenes code has been um, brought up to date a bit more, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not a crazy resource hog by any means. So uh, I feel like uh, whatever you set up, you should be able to have some fun with Filscape. So there we have it. Filterscape 1.5 is a very substantial update on a classic plugin that really improves on uh, the original version. There's really a lot to get your teeth into, and I would definitely recommend this plugin to advanced users, especially. Clearly, you can have a lot of fun with it just flicking through the presets, but if you really want to make the most of it, I feel like you're going to be the sort of person who wants to do a lot of uh, interesting uh, dynamic stuff or whatever. You know, you could be you could be automating a dynamic EQ so that it changes throughout your track. You can be doing advanced sound design and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's really uh, it's really nice to see such an old plugin uh, brought brought back in such a spectacular style. Um, it's it's you know. You here have got a fantastic reputation, and it's one that is, uh, you know, clearly well deserved. They're they're doing right by their customers, and yeah, 129 euros for three plugins. It's a pretty good deal. There's a demo version, so if you're interested, why not check it out? Mm -hmm.